We left to go cover our first ever hurricane around 2 a.m. on Saturday, August 28, 2021. It was about a 14 hour drive. I was joined by friend and storm chaser Hunter Erickton. Nerves were pretty high driving down knowing that Hurricane Ida was going to make landfall as a Category 4 hurricane and bring life-threatening conditions to southern Louisiana with storm surge, flooding, and damaging winds. It's really unfortunate and gut-wrenching arriving to the area and knowing that lives and property are going to be lost and changed forever. Hunter is a volunteer firefighter and was ready to help locals in the area if needed. We met up with another friend and storm chaser, Noah Juno, who has experience with hurricanes to ride out the hurricane with him. We first went to Homa, Louisiana and scouted out the area to potentially ride it out there. We were concerned flooding was going to be pretty bad since much of the city was below sea level and there was a canal that ran through the middle of the city. There were two parking garages there and they were not letting anybody in them. Having that in mind, we were looking for another location to ride the hurricane out at. We learned there was a parking garage that was able to be used in Thibodeau, Louisiana, and Thibodeau sat a few feet above sea level. We opted for the safer option to go north and ride it out there instead. front of us, or to left. Oh wow. The limbs are, look at these trees hanging.
sorry if the stream is bouncy. I'm using a kind of a cheap phone mount. Sugar cane leaning pretty badly. Fortunately for the town of Thibodeau, the eye of the hurricane went east and northeast of the city, leaving much of the weaker western edge of the hurricane to impact the city. Though more eastern parts of the city sustained some heavy damage, Thibodeau was spared from having much worse damage. We did a damage survey around the city Monday morning before departing back to Kansas.
Our hearts go out to the strong people of Louisiana who were impacted by Hurricane Ida. Please consider donating to a trusted organization to help out with relief efforts. Some links will be provided in the description.